All right. uh, a little bit different video today. Uh, today we're shooting a new product review that I've never seen before. Um, it's a blind that you can cut yourself. Never seen it before. I'm sure it's been out there a while. I just have not put out a blind or put a blind up in a long time. And usually you have this cut at the store. Uh, and Becca picked these up and you can cut them yourself with a circular saw. Uh, anyway, I had one leave the nest and we done this room, mostly Becca's done this room. Uh, painted the ceiling, put new LED lights in, new walls. Uh, getting ready to put the blinds, which is almost like the final step before moving the spare bedroom in, which I'll gain a little, a little office space. Not that I need a lot more. I've already got the shop and the garage, but I'll have a little bit quieter place to go to. Uh, anyway, let me show you these blinds. I uh, don't know how this is going to go. I've never done this before. Um, I have my doubts on a circular saw cutting through this plastic. Uh, the miter saw spins pretty quick and the blades, you know, I'm going to use the one that I use uh, on everything else and we'll see how this cuts. Um, I'll show you the blind real quick just to give you an idea which one it is. <clears throat> you can pick this up at Lowe's. Um, it's the Allen Roth cordless uh, blackout cellular shade. So, it doesn't have the cords. It basically has the, the pull down. Uh, I'll show you how that works uh, if we get it mounted. Um, this is a thing I've never seen before. Trim at home uh, makes it a little bit easier. Basically, just buy a bigger uh, size than you actually need. Trim the two sides off. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. Um, kind of already set up for, for those of y'all don't know the video pace slowed a little bit because I'm putting siding on the house but I've got uh, a lot of that equipment up here at the house so I'll be able to do this really quickly uh, we'll uh, we'll get this going I'll do a time lapse of the install and uh, kind of show you how it goes See that right? Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good. It just don't look bad. This is a spare piece. Mm. This is a cut piece. Turned out pretty nice. <clears throat> All right, we got that cut. Turned out pretty well. Really nice finish. Just as good of a finish as this. I'm gonna put all these protectors back in. This is basically what lines the blind up. going to hold this up and mark where that want these to go. Looking at it, I think pretty much I could probably just line this up against the vinyl window and screw it in. But I'm going to follow the directions anyway, which is pretty unusual for me. So they'll go like so. Uh, the bracket will actually clip like so. So you will get to the release tabs from the back. I don't know why they said the pre for now. She can't hold it all up there. This is a cheap way to do it though. Just mark with a pencil. Well, now there's a hole there. This is easier because you can you can cut it at home so you don't have to rely on Lowe's to be exact. Because if I would have done what we just did, 
and I would have measured that in three places. If we went to Lowe's, it would have been too long. Oh, then you have those, those side brackets are a pain to put in too. Yeah, but there's a little bit of leeway there. But if we'd have done that and not cut these ourselves, we'd have to take that all the way back just to get these cut a little bit more. If it's crooked, that means the window's not there. I'd rather the blinds match the window. Make it less obvious, you know what I mean? Alright, what happens? You know how those connect in? Because I did not pay attention to that part of the directions. Then you go look at the left. Should just snap. <sighs> Why? I will fix it. Sir. So that's like a. Is it because of the cut? I don't know if that's coming through on video, but where we cut, it uh, kind of sticks together. So you have to. Kind of do what I'm doing. So don't freak out like Becca just freaked out. looks a lot better in my opinion. Uh, going in would probably cut a little bit more light but it would be uh, it wouldn't look as good. Okay the blind install is done. I apologize for the audio it's pretty echoey in this room but done the best I can to get rid of some of it. Anyway uh, these are the uh, I think it's Allen and Roth uh, blinds from Lowe's. You may be able to find these elsewhere if I can find them on Amazon I'll put a link if not uh, I know that you can get these at Lowe's. Looks great. The install was easy, and lo and behold, it is easy to cut at home. Um, I didn't believe it when I first saw it, uh, but it did cut very easily. The only uh, gotcha was when we first pulled the blind down. I'm just going to pull this up here. When we first pulled the blind down, uh, you know, it gets crinkled up on which whichever sure side you cut because it's kind of you know, bonded together still, and all you gotta do is just rub your fingers over it. 
and undo. Bond works really well. Happy. Looks good. Fits great. And uh, that saved a lot of headache. Because I would run into I would have run into some headache on this window. The reason being is uh, I tell you to measure it in a couple of places, so I measured the top, the middle, and the bottom. Right in this area, um, I would have been just a little bit too tight with the first measurement that I took. So being able to cut it myself, I was able to walk back out and uh, put in the chops on and cut it. It was really easy to do. Um, so I'm really happy with these. Made the room look a lot better. Uh, we did have, uh, I think, wooden style blinds to the rest of the house. And uh, I think we're going to switch over to this uh, for everything. It gets rid of all the cords. It's a lot easier to use. It's really similar to what's in our camper. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. It was a little bit different. Uh, it was just the project I was doing this weekend. We've had a lot of rain and uh, wanted to get, get, get any footage I could of something uh, interesting. And hopefully this will help you out. And uh, if you haven't yet, uh, please click the subscribe button. And if you click the bell, you to be sure you get all my videos as they come out. Uh, I'd appreciate it. And feel free to leave a comment, like. If you have any questions, uh, just drop me a note. I'll try to answer anything I can. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.